Hi all, we're going to be talking about finishing the erasure drawing today. And here are the materials we're going to use. Eraser pencil, plastic eraser, that's the white one, water, and masking tape. So the first thing we need is a plan. Here's the drawing from where we left off last week. And a few things that I'm looking at. The sky. It doesn't have quite enough contrast for me or a sense of light peering through the clouds. So I'm going to do some work on the clouds in the sky. Um, the other thing that I notice is there's not a lot of definition in all of these uh, erased areas. So I want to add a bit more clarity and definition to all of this. So I'm going to be doing work on that architectural structure. And the other thing that I'm noticing that I want to change a little bit is I imagined this area down at the bottom being more of a um, silhouette, sort of a rich dark black. And so I'm also going to darken that a bit to get rid of some of this texture. So here is a totally new technique for you. Sometimes there's an area where even though we were trying to erase, it didn't quite lighten up as much as we wanted it to. And if you're working on thicker paper, you can use this technique. So I'm using the eraser pencil. And what I'm doing is dipping it in water. And then I'm uh, putting a drop of water down and rubbing it around. Um, and instead of just erasing the charcoal, this time it's actually uh, disturbing the surface of the paper and kind of peeling off that top layer of paper. So we're left with a brighter spot. We can also use the plastic eraser with this same exact technique, just dipping it into a little bit of water and starting to rub it around. The advantage of the plastic eraser is it covers a broader area of the paper. So it kind of gives us a softer, broader um, erasure mark. You'll notice that when I was using the eraser pencil, it gives us a very focused, uh, fine little area where we peel off a bit of paper. And with this plastic eraser, I can use it for more soft smoothing effects. So uh, I can soften a bit what I did with the eraser pencil but I can also use this as my main tool for a softer look. So I just want to emphasize that this can be done on tough or thick paper, but if we were working with a paper like newsprint or rice paper um, or some other lightweight paper, uh, this technique would tend to just eat through the paper immediately and make a hole. So we, we want to be aware of what kind of paper we're using for this drawing technique. So then we're going to switch to masking with tape. So let's define masking. Masking is blocking off an area. And why we would want to block off an area is if we want to uh, apply a certain effect to a big area of a drawing or a painting, but we don't want to apply that effect to certain areas, then we would use masking. So we're basically blocking off areas and we can do an overall effect to the drawing but it won't affect these areas that are masked. So I'm using masking tape. Um, in, 
in this case, there's a certain kind of masking tape called artist tape, which is, uh, it, it releases quite easily from the surface of, of a drawing or a painting and it's archival. But I've also found that regular painter's masking tape works quite well. Now that we know what masking is and we know what we're using, I'll explain what I'm trying to go for here. So I'm blocking off areas and then I'm going to darken the whole area of the water and of the hills in the background. So when I go to peel away the tape, I'm going to be left with a lighter impression of this architectural structure. You can see that this technique is really fast and easy for straight edges, but you can also use it for rounded and more complex shapes. In that case, I like to lay out a piece of wax paper and then starting with one piece of tape, lay it down on the wax paper and lay down several more slightly overlapping and then you can cut out an intricate shape with scissors and then carefully peel the tape off and you have a whole piece with an organic shape that you can stick onto your paper and rub along the edges to make sure it's secured to the paper. If you find that you like masking a lot, then there is also masking fluid, which allows you to make really intricate uh, shapes and um, mask fine details. And it's basically a liquid rubber that you apply, let it dry, and then peel it away, the same way that we're about to peel away the tape. So now that I'm finished taping, I'm going to take my vine charcoal and just with a steady, even pressure, um, I'm kind of uh, darkening the surface very slightly without really changing the details. So it's not disrupting the details below. It's kind of letting the details show through um, transparently. So now is the funnest part of this process, which is peeling away the tape. And as you can see, what's happening is it's leaving uh, empty traces where the tape was. Although this process is really fun, you still want to be careful. At this stage, it's really easy to wipe some of that uh, vine charcoal powder into the clean areas. Um, so one of the characteristics that's really nice and desirable about masking is that it does leave you with very clean lines. And uh, in order to preserve those clean lines, and not rub dust into it, it's a good idea to use fixative at the end. So the last thing I wanted to adjust is the darkness of this lower foreground land area. And so I'm leaving some of the details, but in general, I'm toning everything down a couple of steps in value in order to make it feel more like a silhouette. And here's the finished effect. So thanks guys for watching and good luck finishing up your erasure drawings and I'll talk to you soon.